One of the most common conditions that we see at Caring Medical is called Morton's neuroma. And sometimes I'm asked, well, doc, how successful is prolotherapy? So I often ask the patient, I'll ask them a question, like, guess how many patients I've sent for Morton's neuroma surgery, having been a prolotherapist for 20 years? And they're like, I don't know, what, 50? And it's zero. It's a zero. I've never had one patient that with Morton's neuroma that actually sent them for surgery. Like, in other words, prolotherapy is so successful for it. I mean, we did do a paper on it, so anyone can go on the internet, and you know, we did write a paper on prolotherapy for Morton's neuroma, but Morton's neuroma or Morton's foot, uh, the actual condition, I believe, is caused by ligament injury in the foot. So what happens is when you get a ligament injury in the foot, specifically in the metatarsal joints of the foot, basically there's movement of the metatarsal bone. So one of the metatarsal bones, specifically the second metatarsal bone. So I'm going to illustrate it just on my hands. Like in the foot and the hands, the nerves go right along the bone. So they go right along the bone here and then they go right along the bone here. So you can imagine as long as I'm like this, there's plenty of room for the nerves to go. So the nerve travels along here but see, this is the metacarpal joint. This is the metacarpal joint. So in other words, in the hand, if this metacarpal joint and this one got closer together, it would start pinching the nerve. So guess what the main cause of this bone going on this bone going too close, what would be the most logical thing causing that? It would be one is there's ligament injury within between these two bones so there's ligament injury so now there's not stability in those joints so in other words the joints are moving too much when the joints move too much you know they hit each other and when they start hitting each other it starts compressing on the nerve and then another another cause of that is if somebody wears shoes that are too tight so imagine if all day long i wore a glove and the glove was squishing my hand this way Guess what? I'd start to have finger pain because the nerve's getting pinched. I'd start getting numbness in the finger, pinching uh, sensation in the finger, pain in the finger. And that's basically what Morton's neuroma is. Morton's neuroma is between the metatarsal bones, there's a nerve getting pinched. And that nerve getting pinched causes severe pain in the foot. Often it causes severe pain in the toe, you know, where, where it's getting pinched. And it's very, very disabling. I can say that because as I was talking to you right now, I have Morton's neuroma. I never had it. I never had it. I've been a runner, you know, for 20 years, long time runner, you know, did over 10 marathons, did the Ironman five times. So, I mean, I spent a lot, a lot of miles on the road and I live near the Chicagoland area. So I normally run on concrete. So it took me all this time now just recently to develop a Morton's neuroma. So I've had two prolotherapy treatments. The amount of workouts that I've missed has been zero. I've missed zero workouts. So granted, I do have to use yoga toes. So I mean, I do, at nighttime, I wear yoga toes, which, are, which is a device that spreads my toes apart. So that gives the nerve more room. And then, of course, I'm getting the ligaments repaired by prolotherapy. So I would say I'm probably about 50% better. So I'm, I'm still doing speed work. I'm still working out. So that's a, another wonderful thing about prolotherapy for Morton's neuroma and other conditions is you can still work out. And because I've been doing this for 20 years, the clients who I've treated with Morton's neuroma, typically they stay, you know, cured or resolved with the prolotherapy. So... Prolotherapy helps resolve Morton's neuroma by stimulating the metatarsal ligaments to repair. That, that along with not wearing compressive shoes and wearing yoga toes, it will give the nerve enough room and then the nerve's not pinched anymore and the Morton's neuroma is resolved without surgery. So prolotherapy, great treatments for Morton's neuroma. Now, I should say, though, it does take a few visits. Like, I've had two visits, so... Most of the conditions that we treat with prolotherapy is about four visits. So with Morton's neuroma in our study and in, the, in our clinical practice here at Caring Medical, it's normally been about four visits of prolotherapy.